Hey guys, it's Faith. Welcome back to another video on the channel. I have taken a bit of a hiatus off my YouTube channel and I thought what better time to come back than at the beginning of a brand new year doing a yearly reset video. So that is what I'm here doing today. This year I took a step back from my personal brand on social media and I really wanted to invest all of my time into my existing clients, into building new relationships with new clients and just scaling my freelancing business in case you guys don't know I'm a freelancer I do social media management video editing and content creation as you guys know so as a freelancer you want to be sure you have a stable job and I feel like I'm at a really good point where I can reintroduce YouTube back into my routine and of course we'll get into the habits and routines later on in the video but I thought I would address that head-on at the start of this video just to kind of explain why I've been gone also a creative funk was a huge part of why I stepped back too but I I feel because it's the top of the new year I'm feeling re-inspired I feel creative without further ado let's get right on into the video the espresso is up to here and there's a little bit of foam so it's currently 4 30 p.m. hopefully this will tie me over to make me stay up until midnight to reflect a little bit on 2023 it was a pretty solid year of course had some ups and downs just like every other year but a couple things that really stick out to me off top of my head is my internship with elf cosmetics at the top of the year i did a spring internship with them for a few months and i really got to learn more about the beauty industry the social sides of a large beauty company being part of the behind the scenes of like product launches and content creation ideas it was such a fun experience they learned a lot and it was a great thing to add to my resume which was pretty awesome. Great way to start out the year. A couple other things that stick out to my mind is solo traveling. That was something that was like a bucket list thing that I did twice this year. In February, I went over to LA for a short period of time and that was such a fun experience. Traveling and like being at the airport by myself and just being at the airport for the first time in years, that was a really fun experience. I learned that I really enjoy flying and I enjoy traveling. So that really opened my eyes and inspired me to do more solo trips in the future and so I did a longer trip to Scottsdale. I did that from mid-October till the end of November and I have to say I'm definitely going back to Arizona in the near future because it was literally the best time ever. I learned so much about myself like as an independent person and I just built a routine there. I met some new people there, built some awesome relationships and so that really opened my eyes to just like living alone and like being on my own. I've never done that before or been away from home for that period of time. And so that was such an adjustment. But honestly, I really loved it and I can't wait to be doing that again in the short future. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I really just like put my head down and just worked. And so with that, I've gained a few brand new clients that I'm super excited to work with more in the next year. But personally, I feel like I've grown so much as a person this year and I'm so excited to see what's to come next year. I'm gonna be turning 23 in 2024, which is insane. But yeah, with all the good things that have happened, I'm super excited for what's to come next year. So with that, I want to plan some goals for 2024. Now, I'm not a huge resolution type of person. What I like to do is I like to set a few core goals for the year, and then every month I'll build like little goals that will get me to that big goal at the end of the year. So that's really worked for me. So let's Let's go ahead and get started by building some strong core goals. In the self and lifestyle category, I want to start a year long Bible devotional. On the Bible app, you can do a devotional where it's like you read the whole Bible in a year. So I'm gonna be doing that. Next one is more self traveling, which I know I'm going to accomplish this year, so I put that in there. Definitely want to travel to other places outside of Arizona. Maybe I wanna travel to other places in the country, which would be amazing. 
The next one was consistently be active. Now this year I didn't put a set number per week and I really tried to avoid doing that while I was writing my goals. I really wanted to, you know, build consistency, build habits this year, hence the theme of the year. So whether that's walking or Pilates or weights, more specifically, I want to be better at doing Pilates and being stronger. I feel like overall I'm pretty active when it comes to walking, but to do more workouts, that's what I want to accomplish this year. Another one is listen to more podcasts. I've never been someone to listen to podcasts a lot, but while I was doing a lot of walks in Arizona, I listened to a lot of podcasts. So I want to do more self-help podcasts, interviews, wellness, marketing to help my career even. I want to find some new podcasts to listen to. So if you have any suggestions, let me know down in the comments below. Another one, which is should be at the top of the list, it's procrastinate and self-sabotage less. I really learned that when I was living alone for the short period of time that I did, I had way more time in my day and I would just be way focused on my work and got a lot more done and was done with my day a lot earlier. And I noticed that at home, I tend to procrastinate or I'm distracted. And I really believe that procrastination is self-sabotage to your future and to your goals. And so I really wanna focus on procrastinating less building more of a routine to make me stay focused. A couple things I wrote down to help with this is to avoid social media for the first hour of waking up. I learned that if I wake up and I don't go on my phone, my mornings are so much more productive. So I definitely wanna implement that in my morning routines. In lieu of being on social media, I catch myself mindlessly scrolling all the time. And I'm consuming a lot of content, whether that's positive or negative. So I really wanna consume more inspiring content, being careful with who I follow on social media and how to catch myself when I'm consuming content that's probably negative or not the best for the mental health. Next is career. This one is long overdue. I want to build an LLC. It's probably something I need to do at the top of the year. Just like a good business move, good for taxes, good for legal even. There's so many benefits to having an LLC and I feel like I'm at the point where, you know what, I can establish myself. So I'm going to create an LLC this year. Next one is to create more short form content. Since growing on YouTube, that's kind of spread over to my TikTok and Instagram as well. And I have noticed that a lot of people who are content creators or people who enjoy social media, they're following me on Instagram and TikTok and I'm not really creating content at all or even that kind of content on my socials. So definitely want to create more short form content that's educational and inspiring on a consistent basis. Get it? Consistency. In lieu of that, also consistently posting more YouTube videos. So instead of going into the year being like, I'm going to create four videos a month, I'm going to start by creating two videos a month just to kind of get myself back into filming and editing again. And then eventually, being more consistent and posting once a week. And then ultimately I wanna scale my personal brand this year. I have some incredible ideas that I want to work on in the next year to help you guys out with your content creation as well as scaling my personal brand. So stay tuned for that. I kind of hinted it in a previous video, but I really wanna work on some other avenues and to healthily balance my YouTube and my freelancing business. Now for friends, I want to make more friends in the content creation space because honestly, I don't know a lot of people in the community. I just do the job myself and just talk about it on YouTube, but I don't really have a lot of friends in the space and I feel like I'm missing out on a lot of networking and just like relationships in general. So we love a good old internet friendship. And the last one is to remove negative relationships. I feel like I don't really need to touch on this one that much, but any kind of relationship or friendship that turns negative doesn't align with the same ambitions or values or whatnot as I am, and that can impact me negatively. I gotta cut it out. So with that, that is my 2024 goals. And of course, I'm gonna build a little vision board. I'm a very visual person. I love building visual boards. So I'm gonna go onto my Pinterest. I'm gonna create a little mood board to put onto my computer desktop and on my phone wallpaper. This is my favorite part of goal setting is making the vision board. Let's go ahead and quickly do that.
Now that the vision board is done, next things next is the digital decluttering. This is where I'm going to go through my desktop, my external hard drive, clear out all the files and the downloads that I no longer need. But most importantly of all of that, go through all of my photos and my videos because I have like 4,500 photos and videos and my iCloud storage is full. So that is like top priority. I need to go through everything, delete all the duplicates and just make sure my phone is all freed up for the next year of content creation. Not even kidding you guys. I have like raw footage from like past UGC projects from like seven months ago. I'm like, why do I need this? I don't know. So I'm gonna take a large chunk of time and go through all of that. And that concludes my little reset video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, it's New Year's Eve, so I'm spending it at home with the family this year, keeping it low key. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. I promise I'll be making more videos in the near future. I hope you guys had a wonderful 2023 and I hope you have a wonderful 2024 and you stick around and you stay tuned for the next year of fun content because I'm not gonna be on another five month hiatus, I promise you. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in the next video really soon. Bye.